What's up guys, Mike here. I got another stock play for you guys and it is a SPAC that is right now has been taking off and has been doing pretty much wonders in the stock market and this is another electric vehicle SPAC and I think it's a very promising one that you could be investing on at an early stage and getting a very good value for your money and a huge return in the long run at the same time. Now this SPAC is also located in the UK and it is known as, with the merger as CIIG merger and soon to be merging with Arrival, which I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of, but I'm going to go over this uh, stock for you guys in pretty good details. I'm going to go over some charts. I'm going to go over some financials of the stock. I'm going to give you some positions of what the shareholders are going to be holding, what to expect, what kind of vehicles they're producing, and all that good stuff in this short uh, time video that I'm going to try to make as short as possible for you guys so you guys can get the most amount of information to decide whether you are interested in buying or not. So with that said, make sure to always smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's begin. Yeah! Guys, let's check out what's going on with CIIG merger. Ticker symbol is also CIIC. And you guys know me. I don't sugarcoat anything. If I say a stock is going up, it's going up. And I tell you if it's going to be going down, it I will say it is going on, going to be going down. And I won't sugarcoat it. And I won't say, oh, buy it and it's going to keep going up. All right? No. So as we can see right now, CIIC is on a downward trend. MACD has not um, crossed over yet. Also, neither has the histogram turned yet either, which could still be some good signs, but TSI says it is crossing over and it is in a sell zone. So I'm pretty much, when I see any stock over the 70 RSI, this to me means I need to be extremely cautious and there is no way in the world I'm going to be buying a stock at 70 RSI or above. And I suggest highly to you guys not to do that either i know you want probably believe in this company long term but i think you should wait and get it at the best deal where do i see this going i think around 16 to 18 dollars might be a good buy zone to come back into this stock maybe it might even go to 14 i don't know this chart does not very is not very detailed but sometimes sometimes stocks do go down a little bit, maybe you're about 24 to uh, even up to 2022, and all of a sudden it just takes off again. All right, this could all be a possibility, but right now, all I can tell you with honest truth, this stock is definitely headed downward somewhere between 16 and 18. TSI crossed over, horizontal um, histogram hasn't crossed over yet, so this is still bullish. This uh, MACD still shows it's bullish, but. We don't have too much to tell from the chart that we have here. So there's not a lot to tell, but what you can do is go and be patient with this stock. I think this stock has a huge, huge, huge upside potential. They are going to be doing some crazy deals. I mean, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over all of those because they have some crazy deals coming up with uh, sponsors like UPS, right? BlackRock is uh, hugely backing them up also Hyundai, and as well as Kia uh, Motors. Guys, okay, so first off, if you guys go to this website, this is the uh, their own electric website. It's called the electriclastmile.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys so you could check it out. And it pretty much tells you a brief overview of what this company is doing, right? So it tells you they're focused on efficiency, right? They're focused on uh, optimizing efficient efficiency for the environment. They want to produce low cost vehicles and they want to make sure uh, that there's a low cost for ownership for these vehicles while saving you cost and energy and providing you the best quality for your uh, cars. Now this company is giving some good details about their uh, company, about what they're doing, about their merger, about how much it would cost you to own a vehicle like a fleet size one vehicle. And they give you a lot of good details about their vehicles. So they're not sugarcoating anything. They're telling you everything like what's going on, right? Like they said, their electrical delivery van is going to be getting up to 150 to 200 miles. And it'll only take as little as two hours to charge this vehicle. And this, this may seem a little to you guys, but for delivery trucks, this sounds pretty reasonable amount of uh, miles to drive in a day, right? It's not bad, and their cost of ownership will probably really uh, low. 
They're going to be changing a lot of specs. This is the full specification for the vehicle. Um, if you want to check out all these stuff, believe me, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys. And I think this company has a huge future. Um, their valuation is a little bit pricey, but uh, it could be worth it. Um, the As you can see, Elms, the electric last mile solution is what Elms stands for. And it was founded by actually a former Ford executive. So this isn't some guy making this company. This, this is some guy who actually has a huge background into the industry for cars and cost production and cost efficiency. So you are getting into a company that is that has a good promising future. Like I mentioned, this company is backed by BlackRock and Arrival was already uh, went into talks to become a SPAC merger. So this is all already occurring. That's why the stock exploded within the last few days. November 18, they said they're going to have the merger combined. They signed the agreement and now they're stating that it's expected to close by Q1 2021, so sometime maybe around late March is probably the anticipated anticipated date that the merger will be completed. And they're saying right now the valuation of the company right now is going around 5.3 billion. So this isn't something small. This is a huge company, and uh, about 88 percent of the company is held by insiders. The 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 own shareholders right the company's shareholders the insiders are holding a huge portion of this company which is could be a good sign that they have a high um they, they believe highly in this company or also it could be bad because they can also at the same time dilute you over time since they control so many shares so it could be a good thing and at the same time it could be a bad thing so you, that's something you should be aware of let's look over the valuation of the company like like I was saying, if when it was trading around ten bucks, well, once it went uh, SPAC, it was worth about six billion dollars, and once it hit around seventeen dollars per share, it became about ten point two billion. And now, right now, it's trading about twenty four dollars a share, like I showed you on the stockcharts.com. It's probably going for around twenty billion dollars in valuation at right now. So this company is is going to be pretty huge. Uh, I do see a huge uh, run-up coming up again very soon. Again, like I stated before, the existing insider shareholders hold about 88% of it. Another 7% is held by pipe investors. And another 4% is going to be retail investors such as you and I. We are considered as retail investors. And one more percent of it is going to be the CIIG SPAC shareholder. All right, so they have four cars in the pipeline that they're this discussing and saying that's coming out first is the electric bus and they expect to produce it in the q4 of 2021 which is a huge order that i think is really nice uh, i'll show you some pictures at the end the next is going to be the electric van and they already have over 10,000 orders pretty much i think a lot of it majority of it is going to be coming from the ups order and i think they put in about 1.2 billion dollars for these 10,000 orders, which I'll go over uh, very soon again. And then they have the large electric van coming out soon. They already have 2,500 pre-orders for that. These two will be released in 2022 about the same time. And they're also thinking about releasing a small vehicle in 2023. To, it's to be determined. They don't have too much info about it just yet. Here's the timeline. Like I told you, first, it's going to be the electric bus by 2022, and then the van and the large van for delivery trucks. It's going to be by 2023 and 2022 between there. And the small vehicle is going to be somewhere in the middle to late 2023 time period, which I mentioned they're one of their major buyers is UPS, and they already ordered 10,000 units worth about $1.2 billion in this contract, and they already are building into this company. The first is for US UPS, and they have the automated fleet size of 120,000 vehicles. Um, they're growing about, they want to bring about a volume of 21.9 million vehicles, and they're aiming for about a 25% vehicle purchase annually for this company. And another of their partners, like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, is Hyundai and as well as Kia Motors. And these are going to be adding some sales to their business as well. 
Like I mentioned, I found this really quickly for you guys. BlackRock is supporting them. If you want to look at this part and read it, I just wanted to show you guys and give you some information about that too. All right, so here are some of the po pictures of the vehicles that they have like for the UPS, UPS trucks, the arrival buses. And as you can see, these buses are not just some modern buses. They're actually really high-tech quality buses that are pretty futuristic. And they show you like different types of the bodies of the buses. I just wanted to give you guys some pictures so you can take a good look at it and show that it's pretty real futuristic at the same time. What I'm finding out is that they're making apps for these buses that you can actually track the bus and notifies you like when it's going to be arriving, when it's going to be like coming, you know, like this could help you guys also for people who use these buses a lot. It could be a great beneficial tracking the buses on a specific app at the same time. Thanks again for watching my video. As always, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube could alert you when my next video comes out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I pretty much post there daily. I've been posting all my buys and sells on Instagram, so make sure to check me out over there on Instagram. Also, if you want to give me some stock tips that you guys want to me to do any videos on, leave a comment below. Let me know. If you have any questions on specific stocks, leave a comment below. Let me know. I try to answer as many of you as I can and give, probably do a future video on that specific stock if I find that interesting and I could share it with the, everyone in the public channel. Also, if you want four free stocks right now, Webull is giving four free stocks right now. One for just signing up to use their platform and three additional free stocks when you make a deposit of $100 or more and Webull will give you four free stocks, minimum of $8 all the way to up to $1,600. If you want another free stock, First Trade gives really, really good stocks. Check out my link in the description below for those. And if you want also another free stock, Robinhood gives a free stock. Check all those in the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching my video. And until next time, make money with Mike.